do a little experiment, see if we can do some induction using a magnet. Um, Oops, this one out of a hard drive. Uh, some wire, strip that off an old telephone cable. Uh, an LED. Uh, plastic tube. Clearly this one had Dencho cleansing tablets in it. It's nothing special, it's just a handy sized plastic tube. Uh, got a couple of bits of foam. I originally cut these out for wheels for one of my cars, but that'll do because all I'm going to do is stick them in the bottom of the tube, well, one in the bottom, one in the top, so that when the magnet's flying up and down in there, it doesn't actually knock a hole through the bottom. I should put another bit at the top as well, under the lid. Okay, so that's the basics. Um, Wrap the wire around the tube lots of times. I should do that off camera because that will be really boring. Connect the LED to the end of it. Stick the magnet inside. Don't know if that'll be a good enough magnet, but that's all I can. Oh, actually, I've got a couple of little ordinary magnets there. I might add them in as well. See if that increases the magnetism a bit. And then see if we can get the LED to light by shaking it vigorously. Right, I'll wrap the wire around. As I say, that'll be boring to watch, so I'll do that off camera. Right, well that's all of my wire carefully wrapped around there. Just going to attach the LED to the end. shake and see if it works. Time for a review of what I've done. Wrap my wire on. Um, I'm actually quite pleased. I've taken a bit of care and got it on there nicely. I've worked out I've got about 30 meters which doesn't seem to be very much. Uh, certainly with my original magnets, which are nothing special, there's nothing like enough power coming out to light my LED. So I've got hold of some neodymium magnets, which are, I believe, something like 20 times stronger than the equivalent ordinary magnet. If I stick that in there and seal it up, not going to be able to see on the screen because I don't suppose it will be dark enough but there is just enough to light the LED. You can just about see it lighting. So I've had a little think about it and I'm going to try and get a little bit of circuitry in there to give me a slightly better light. Now I've got quite a few of these, now let's put the light back on, quite a few of these little circuit boards that come out of the garden lights, the solar powered lights. Uh, normally the solar cell goes across the two contacts at the top here, charges up in the daylight, charges up this tiny little battery and then lights up the LED. Now. So I had a little think about that and I thought, well, you might not believe what I'm doing if I leave a battery on there. You might think it's just being powered by the battery. So I've taken the battery off and this is a little capacitor that I've salvaged out of something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire that in place instead of this LED, so that hopefully the capacitor takes a bit of charge as, the, as we're moving it, and then discharges through the LED and gives us brighter light. So I'll try that out. Okay, solder and iron heated up. A little fan to blow the fumes away.
tape, I think, to hold it in place. Bit of tape. Basically all we're doing there is we're using a little bit of circuitry to store the available energy and discharge it back through the LED. So we're getting a better result even though we're not generating very much current with my induction system there. Okay, job done. <laughs>